Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, assalamu alaikum friends in this video I am going to give you some tips and tricks for solid bikes that will save your time during design so let's start without wasting time first of all we have a command magnifying glass so this shortcut key for this command is G if you press G button from your keyboard and uh, a magni magnifying glass will appear uh, on your screen so by dragging it you can move it to the uh, different parts of your assembly now if you you can also select or zoom in and zoom out the parts and you can select the parts so now you can see here we had selected this part by using magnifying glass next we have another trick in solid works so as you can see this part is uh, now in transparent state so I cannot select this part if I select it then uh, it, uh, the part in behind it will be selected so how to select this transparent part for that hold shift key from your keyboard and then you can select this part so this was the another trick then we have another trick in solid parts that if you press and hold control key and then drag your part to make it copy so this is the easy way to make uh, the copy of uh, uh, parts in solid bars. So how this happens press and hold control key and then drag the part to make its copy. Next we have another feature or um, another trick in solid bars. So if I click and drag this part so you can see I am dragging this part at the moment. But how can I rotate this part? without disturbing the other assembly so for that right click and drag this part to rotate it so this was uh, the another trick right click and then drag to rotate this part next we have another trick that if you want to hide this part you um, then you have to click here on this part and then you can hide it from here but I have another trick to hide and show this part so let me show you how if I hover my mouse cursor on this part and then I press tab button then it will be hidden now how can I show this part again so for that as you know our part was somewhere here so hover your mouse somewhere here and then shift plus tab so by pressing shift plus tab this component will be showed by pressing only tab the component will be hidden and by pressing shift plus tab key this component will be unhidden next we have another trick called width mate so for that let's suppose I want to adjust or assemble this part in the middle of both these both two faces so to do that press and hold control key and select this face then this face again press and hold control key and select this face also select this face then release the control key and from here you can select width mate so now you can see this part is automatically adjusted in between uh, the both of these faces so this was the width mate next we have another trick called reverse trim so usually when we create sketch and then we use trim command and we uh, usually we use it to cut or trim extra lines but in, in case of reverse trim you can extend the lines so how for that press and hold shift key from your keyboard and then drag your mouse on the line see how this line has been extended so this was the reverse trim it works uh, when you press and hold shift key and then drag your mouse over the line ok next we have uh, up to surface extrusion um, trick so we have a sketch like this and we want to extrude it up to this surface so for that what will you uh, do just simply go to features tab and then click on extruded both base command then double click on the surface and see this sketch has been extruded up to this surface only so this was the up to surface extrusion so next we have derived sketch command in solidworks so how to use it or what is the work of this drive sketch command 
for example let's say i want this uh, extruded cut sketch uh, to this phase so for that expand the cut extrude one or this cut, cut extrude um, feature and then select this sketch and then press and hold control key and select this phase then go to insert and from here select drive sketch so here we had uh, this drive sketch now you can drag it where you want and then you can apply the features on it for example let's say extruded cut and in the reverse direction and press ok button so this uh, was not only the copy paste um, uh, option you can also if you edit this sketch the uh, this sketch will automatically be edited let me show you how so edit this sketch if i delete this center circle and then exit from sketch so here you can see we had also edited this sketch next we have arc length dimension so if you have an arc like this and when you define this arc by using smart dimensions so you would only be able to define its radius only now let me show you how you can define its length so for that again select smart dimensions then select this point this arc and this point so from here you can define the length of this arc so this was the arc length dimension so next we had another uh, trick in solidworks sketch so when you usually draw line so it is not one line you are creating multiple lines in sketch but but um, if you want to draw only one line like this so how i did this it is very simple press and hold left click of your mouse and then if you release it it will be drawn only one line press and hold left click of your mouse and drag the mouse to create one line next tip is uh, switching between sketch options so let me show you how if uh, you select this um, rectangle and then draw it now at the moment you can see here we are drawing only uh, corner rectangle but at the moment i want to change uh, or switch between these options so how i do it it is very simple just press a button from your keyboard to switch between these options so press a button to switch between these options but in case of line command when you are drawing line something like this if you press a button then it will be converted into arc and then automatically converted into the line so again press a button and see it is converted into arc next step is in the shortcut keys so if you hover your mouse on the line command and then you will see the l key is the shortcut key for line but there is no shortcut key for the circle and you can also edit all the shortcut keys for your desired commands so let me show you how if you click on this arrow in front of options and then select customize then uh, go to this tab keyboard type here the name for, of the command for which you want to set the shortcut key for uh, let's say i am going to set shortcut key for the circle so type here circle and here uh, is the circle type here shortcut and press yes then press okay button now let me show you so you can see here uh, c has been set it uh, the shortcut key for the circle so similarly you can edit all um, the shortcut keys for your desired commands so let me press c and see um, now i am drawing circle 
After the shortcut keys, we have uh, mouse gestures. If you right click and drag your mouse and see here, there are four mouse gestures. You can also edit these mouse gestures. So for that, again, go to customize and from here, select mouse gestures. Enable mouse gestures and here are four or eight. Select eight. Then check this option. Show only commands with mouse gestured, gestures assigned. So here are the commands and uh, uh, the mouse gesture. You can also edit them if you press OK button and then drag, right click and drag the mouse to view mouse gestures. Next trick we had is fully defined sketch. So if we had drawn a sketch like this and now we want to add all the dimensions automatically. So for that click on this arrow below the display or delete relations and then select fully defined sketch. So there are two options. Um, if you check this option all entities in sketch and then calculate. Now you can see we had defined this sketch fully automatically. So you can also select the entities to define them. and then press calculate and press ok button. So this was the fully defined sketch. Next tip we have here is it a dimension to tangency. So when you select smart dimensions and then you select the circles. So the center points of the circles are selected for dimension. But how if you want to select or define the distances between these tangent points up to these this tangent point. So for that again select smart dimension and then press and hold shift key then select this circle and also select this circle. So now you can define the distance between the tangent points of both circles. So again if you select smart dimensions press and hold shift key select this circle and then release the shift key and then select this circle. So now you can define the distance between this center point up to this tangent point of the circle. Next step is rotating your assembly about x, y or z axis. So how it uh, happens if I press and hold alt key from my keyboard and then click on the z axis. So you can see this assembly is rotating about Z axis only. So for Y axis click on it. So press and hold alt key and then click multiple times on the axis about which you want to rotate your assembly. Next trick is a collapse three atoms automatically. So as you can see on the left side here, I had expanded all the uh, three atoms. So now I want to collapse all these three atoms all at once. So how can I do it? It is very simple. Just press shift plus C key from your keyboard to collapse it. Next trick is the switching between open parts in solid bars. So normally when you press alt plus tab key uh, on your computer then you will be only able to switch between the programs like this. But in SOLIDWORKS when you press control plus tab key you will be able to switch between all the open parts in the SOLIDWORKS only. So as you can see I had opened all these parts in the SOLIDWORKS and now I want to switch between the parts. So by pressing control plus tab key I can switch between these parts. Next tip is a previous selection. So let me show you what is this. If I had selected these multiple faces and then accidentally I had clicked on this area. So 
how can I endo the, the selection it is very simple just right click and then from here select previous selection so now you can see I had again selected all the items that I had selected previously so this was the previous selection next tip is expanding the related options so um, here I had opened this part and let's say I'm going to draw a sketch on this face so as you can see I had uh, turned on the sketch mode now if I press S button from my keyboard and you can see here I had um, all the options related to sketch option so if I draw a circle somewhere here and then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now again press S button now uh, you can see we had uh, expanded the options related to features tab so uh, from here you can apply extruded cut or extruded bow space and fill it and all these uh, rest of the commands so this was the expanding related options next tip is uh, the reshowing context menu so uh, let me show you how it works for example I had selected these two faces and when I release the control key a context menu like this will be appeared but when I hover my mouse cursor away from this context menu it will be hidden so to reshow this context menu again uh, hover your mouse somewhere here and then press control button so it will be uh, reshowed again so hover your mouse here and press control button so the last but not least tip in SOLIDWORKS is creating reference plane more quickly so how you can do it just simply press and hold control key from your keyboard and then select or drag the plane to make its reference plane so here you can see uh, the options for this reference plane again let me show you how if I press and hold control key from my keyboard and then click and drag this plane to create a new plane with reference to this right plane so these are the options if you you can also um, set the dimensions according to your design and press ok button to create so I hope you had found all these tips useful and don't forget to comment how did you find this video Thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel.